Hey, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. Look, satisfied Sunday. Um, there's so much going on, right? And we see preachers doing things that are are different. I'll just say that. They're different, right? And they cause a big ruckus. And then you see church members looking at what the preachers are doing and they're calling them out or they're putting it on Facebook and they're blasting them and they were so quick to condemn but Christ said that there's no condemnation right for them that are in Christ you know I was thinking about it and then I was just thinking about I just came back from a conference and you know and one part of the ministry Somebody had mentioned humanity and it really got me thinking. I'm like, and the whole time that me and my husband have been in ministry, we have seen the blessings of God that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. But we've also seen the humanity of man getting trapped in places where they shouldn't be. But yet then we've also seen God restoring the men of God. So, and now because of social media, right? If the man of God, back then you didn't have a platform to blast them. But now we have this platform and we blast people instead of praying for them. Knowing that in humanity, you know, sometimes that's that fence, that struggle between what we know and between what we want to do. And sometimes there are wounds that keep us on the fence and it weakens our judgment right but being in ministry for so long I have seen people rally and stay faithful and because of that they stood in the gap for their man of God their woman of God for their families for their friends not just preachers but individuals that are in the faith right and I've seen people come back that's what we should be believing for. Don't get entrapped and entangled by the people that make mistakes. Because you know, especially if you make it on the platform that's visible to the world. I mean, yeah, it looks huge. But at the same time, didn't you just lie the other day? Didn't you just withhold your second coat from giving it to the poor? Didn't you just tell somebody no when you should have said yes? You know, and, and we're so quick to judge. And that's the humanity part that God was talking about in many areas in the Bible. About forgiveness. <laughs> so in Ezekiel, when he said that I looked for someone. I looked for someone to rebuild and repair the wall. But I couldn't find nobody. My God. The purpose of Moses, the purpose to stand, the purpose of Jesus, the purpose to stand in the midst of the gap between our humanity and the power of God. Don't get trapped in the pettiness. Don't be so quick to blast or give up on people. God has a purpose for each and every one of us. But when we stand in the gap, we close. We close it. And we don't allow that wound to get infected. But we allow God's grace and mercy to pour into that, to heal it, to create new life and bring restoration. That's the power of God. And guess what? When unbelievers see that, that essence of forgiveness, the essence of love, the essence of being faithful in the midst of craziness, right? Things that they couldn't even believe because they're so quick to just hit it and, and run. They're so quick to give up and, and just move on, right? We're not perfect. We're never going to be perfect until we go to heaven. But until then, we got to deal with this humanity and we got to deal with 
loving one another in spite of their wrongs. My God. Restoration. Are we patient enough to see God's hand in other people's life? And then be patient enough to stand with them, to restore them, to be there for them when it's time to come back. When people see that, that essence, it'll draw them to God. You just have to be who you believe you are. And you have to walk in what you're speaking. You don't have to force the walls of people's hearts. You just allow yourself to be caught up in God's love, his kindness, and his mercy. God does the rest. You pour, I water, God will do the increase. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday.